Welcome back to Rebuild Rescue. Today, we're finally cleaning up this disgusting, filthy, biohazard mess of an airplane. I've been working on this thing for weeks. It's disgusting. Let me show you what it looks like. Now, I didn't clean this engine up yet because uh, if you guys saw in the uh, two videos ago, when we got this started and we finally made it ours. <laughs> we were in such a hurry to get it running, I didn't clean anything up. I know that really bothered you guys, but it's what I had to do. And it is, it is terrible. It literally has a nest or multiple nests. I mean, this is like, was like a bird condo in here. And there's like seeds that I'm sure are post-digested seeds that are left over. It's got piles of stuff in here. I mean, it's just all over the place and it's caked. It's got this thick, filthy, caked, just mess. Even on the other side, uh, over on engine two, we didn't get a chance to fully clean that up. We blew everything out. We didn't acid wash it, we didn't use degreaser, we didn't use pressured water. Today, we're gonna use pressured water, we're gonna use all kinds of tools, and we're gonna get this and the other side clean enough that hopefully you can actually see what's there. This thing is so filthy. I mean, this was coated in bird poop. I mean, this was the birdhouse. So it even has the clear coat I mean, the clear coat's coming off and stuff like that. And there's going to be a bunch of clear coat that gets blown off. But really, it needs a paint job anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just baked on. It is stuck on. Definitely the worst that I've ever seen and likely the worst any of you have ever seen. You know, put a post in the comments. Have you seen an airplane that is any dirtier than what this thing is? I mean, look at this. We have... Literally, there's fungus. I should probably have my mask on right now. There's fungus on here, like growing on the airplane, growing in, in, in cracks. Yeah, it's disgusting. <clears throat> we'll get in there later. I think the other, the other thing, this thing's huge. I mean, you know, I'm six foot tall. This thing has to be like 10, 11 feet tall. I mean, we're gonna have to break out ladders or a lift or, or, uh, or something. So we'll get, we'll get all this bird stuff washed off of here. We'll get it polished up. We'll somehow get up high enough to, to clean that up. Over on the other side, uh, again, there's like mold and fungus growing out of parts of the 401. I mean, that's like, I, I can't even explain it. And this is the engine that we cleaned up previously. I mean, there's just stuff, there's, there's baked on bird poop. There's, I think there's a, a mouse living in the interior still. There's nests coming out from underneath the airplane, still hanging out from underneath it. And this is after working on it and cleaning some of this stuff up. Can't wait till this thing's done. Let's go break everything out. Let's get suited up and let's get this thing clean. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna just douse this thing down with degreaser and let it start doing its job because I have a feeling it's gonna take 
multiple coatings of this to get all that stuff out of here. So we're gonna douse this thing down as much as possible. The nice thing about an airplane engine is these are made to fly in wet conditions. So as long as you have everything sealed up and, and, and put back together, it should, it should seal itself off. I mean, they even have massive intakes right on the front of the wing here. And you know, they're made to fly through a storm. So I'm, I'm kind of confused about like how that actually works because this is literally a straight path in and right into the air box. So you're flying at 200 miles an hour You've, you've got to have gallons of, of water coming inside the engine. And I'm assuming you're just burning it. You know, but the cool thing is, is we can spray this down. This stuff is all sealed off. So we can really, really get in there with the pressure washer and stuff like that. I mean, I'm so glad that uh, we brought this suit and I got some protection. And I do have a mask I'm going to wear as well because there's going to be bird poop flying everywhere. Get the wires back on the plugs on engine number two before we douse it down so everything's sealed off. After we get this all cleaned up, you know, we need to come to a point. I mean, this engine, if you saw the last video, this engine's gonna have to come off. And even after this was cleaned a few videos ago, and even after we clean it again today, you're gonna see when we pull this engine off, it's still gonna be caked with all kinds of grime and dirt. So we'll end up taking both engines off and, and cleaning it out completely. All right, let's get some cleaner on. So if you guys remember, this is the engine that we spent a few hours cleaning up with with pressurized uh, with the air compressor. This one shouldn't take as much, but it's, it's still just, it, they're, they're just, they're so dirty. <laughs> they're so filthy. All right. We'll let the engine soak a while. We'll get this thing all closed up. We'll get the windows taped shut so we're not getting any more water on the inside and we'll get the clean on the outside. All right, so we got the pressure washer hooked up. I do have hot water coming through the pressure washer because we're gonna need all the help we can get to get all this bird crap off of here. So let's get at it.
So we just got done uh, pretty much just pressure washing the whole left side of the airplane. And I gotta tell you, look how clean it looks. I mean, up close, it's still pretty grimy, but I have a feeling if, you know, once we get the uh, foam cannon out, and yes, we get to play with the foam cannon today, which I'm really excited about, and we get this all foamed up and we get our wash glove on it and really wash it, this thing's gonna look really good. I mean, come over, come over to this side and look at the other side. And this left side was much, much more filthy than this side originally. But now look at it. Like, look at the difference of, of just a, a really good pressure wash, what it's done to the, the 401. So let's go over, let's get the engine all blown out because that is gonna blow bird poop everywhere. Then we'll rinse that off and then we'll get the foam cannon out. We just got done washing out the engine and this engine, the one that started, is way worse. It was way worse than the one that didn't start. So yeah, there's a ton of crap on the floor. I'm so glad that I grabbed some safety glasses and a mask and this suit because I am just covered in bird shit. This is so disgusting. This is like the most disgusting thing I think I've ever done. But it is, it's a lot cleaner. There's a ton more work that needs to be done. I mean, really, this engine's gonna have to come out and everything scrubbed down for it to be really clean. We got a lot of it out. There's a lot more to get out, but uh, we're gonna let it dry out. I may blow it out later a little bit or, or do some other things. And we do have to pull this engine off at some point. So when we do that, we'll clean it all up. We'll make it look brand new. But without further ado, Let's break out the foam cannon. So we got the engine as cleaned out as we're gonna get it today. There's a lot of areas I couldn't get to. And also I'm really uh, excited to use the foam cannon. So we're gonna foam cannon this whole airplane up and then we're gonna hand wash it and we're gonna rinse it off. And the amount of filth that came off this thing already, it kind of smells like a wet chicken house. It's looking so clean though with out even using any soap. So the paint looks really good. I have a feeling after this thing is polished up, I wouldn't be afraid to fly this in, well, after it's flyable, but to fly this in somewhere, I mean, it looks good. Let's get at it.
just got done washing the whole left side of the 401. This thing came out so clean. Like, literally, I just had some guys walk into the hangar that are here at the airport, and they couldn't believe their eyes. I mean, this is just so clean. Take a look at this side. Now come over here and take a look at this side. This was the cleaner side of the airplane. Like it was twice as clean, but just looking at the other side and then looking at this side, it shows you just how dirty it was, but it also shows you how clean it came out. I mean, we did scrub it and we did pressure wash it and it's, it's been a lot of work, but once this thing is done, it's actually gonna look really good. It's amazing. I can't believe how well this held up for being abandoned for that many years out in the sun with bird crap all over it and who knows what else. And it looks great. It's gonna look really good. So let's go ahead, let's grab the pressure washer, let's grab the foam cannon. I think I'm gonna try something a little different on this side. On the other side, I spent a lot of time just, just trying to pressure wash everything off. I think this on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and knock off the big stuff with the pressure washer and then we're just gonna foam cannon it, hand wash it, and see if everything comes off. So we got the whole side of the airplane all pressure washed. We got most of the, the heavy stuff off. So I'm gonna get a little bit more degreaser over on this engine so we can get this cleaned out. Now this one's gonna clean up a little bit better than the other engine did just because, well, I worked on this one a lot more if you guys remember. But it's still gonna have to come out. A, it's gonna have to come out because there's an internal problem in the engine, I'm 99% sure. So we are gonna pull this engine out. We are gonna split it, take everything completely apart. You guys are gonna to get to see what's inside of one of these, which is a massive crankshaft and, a ma and massive pistons. I mean, they're, they're huge. The first time I pulled one of, an engine like this apart, I was just, I was floored by how big everything is. I mean, the, the connecting rods are like this big. They're, they're just so thick. We'll get that off. Once we get that off, like the other side, I'll use a whole bunch of really, really good cleaners because it'll be empty. We'll get this area looking brand new. All right, so we got most of the loose dirt off of the engine. We got a ton more, uh, you know, bird poop off of it. It looks really clean. We could get the other engine that clean, but like I said, we're gonna take it out. So let's get over here and let's get the foam cannon out. Let's get some soap on here and let's wash this thing up.
All right, so we got the whole fuselage all scrubbed down. I used uh, like a soft bristle, long brush. It seemed to do a pretty good job. It's a lot quicker, so we'll rinse this off. If there's any spots that weren't as good, I'll get on there by hand, um, you know, just so it's really nice and clean. So the, uh, the brush missed a bunch of spots, which I was a little worried about. It did get a huge amount of the dirt off that we needed to get off, especially all that dirt that was up on the tail, you know, 11 feet up. So if it keeps me off a ladder, I'm happy. We'll get the rest of this with the wash mitt and then rinse it off. All right, so we got the wing all wiped down. Get the pressure washer out and we'll get all this soap off, all the rest of the grime off, and then we're almost done with the outside. It's looking absolutely amazing compared to how this thing looked. Like I said, I'd fly this thing in anywhere. The way it looks, well, maybe with a little bit of touch up and be proud of it. I mean, it just, it looks really good. I mean, it, it, it looks like a half million dollar airplane sitting there. You really have to see it. Like I think a, a good clay barring and uh, waxing would do this thing a lot of good.
All right, so I think we got the outside of this airplane done. Uh, there, there's definitely some areas that, you know, if we worked at it harder, it would get a little bit cleaner here, but, you know, for now, it looks amazing compared to the way this thing looked a few hours ago. Oh, but there is something we have to do yet. We have to pull that whole interior apart, take it out of the airplane, and clean it. I'm a little more worried about the interior than I was about the exterior. This, this is a lot of work to clean up and a lot of work to get to look good, but the interior is like a whole nother deal. And I remembered Sam saying that he saw a mouse inside the 401. So I got ourselves a Have a Heart live trap and we're gonna get it in the 401. I'm gonna let it sit overnight and we're gonna see if tomorrow morning when we go to clean out the interior we have a new pet hanger mouse get this thing set there might be a whole family in here but i have a feeling if they've been hanging out in this mess i don't know where they'd be getting food because there's definitely no food in the hangar so they're probably going to go crazy and there's probably gonna be a mouse in here by tomorrow morning. So let's see what happens. All right guys, so we got the 401 really clean on the outside. We do have a ton of work to do the inside. I mean, it's atrocious. You guys have seen it. Can't wait to get on that. But there's something I had to bring up. So we've been in the hangar here all day working on this and I haven't checked uh, the channel. I haven't had a chance to, I haven't checked the GoFundMe. I have to say, you guys are absolutely amazing. I'm totally blown away. Like I was, I'm speechless. I, I can't even describe how I feel. The generosity of the viewers, of the crew, of the team that we've built here at Rebuild Rescue, which is all of you, has been amazing. The GoFundMe has blown up. I'm so excited to see where this goes. You know, if you have a chance, if you haven't even just looked at the GoFundMe, just take a look at it. it it's amazing. You guys are just great. We're gonna get this thing restored. We're gonna get it in the air. We're gonna hit our goals. It's gonna be a lot of work, but I'm so excited to get it done. I'm so excited for you guys to be part of it. If you have a chance, stop by the merch store, get yourself a 401 Forever shirt. It supports the channel and we really appreciate it. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe, like the videos, turn on your notifications so you see all the cool projects that we're gonna be bringing right to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching.